Hey there, hope all is well. It's been a minute since I've done a RTD quick take, but I wanted to share my thoughts on this particular subject matter because a few people now have reached out to me and some uh, in, uh, in favor of uh, the title of this article here. So this is as of today, but yet it's something that happened over the past weekend, but it has to do with an African single currency amongst 15 nations. And so just so as you guys see here, it says West Africa's eco is the name of the, is going to be the name of the currency. Single currency ambition has a slim chance of success. And so if you just Google eco currency or eco was, uh, and so I'll get to that in a minute. But it, yeah, it has to do with uh, some countries or states in the Western Hemisphere on the continent of Africa. And so here we have just a picture of gentlemen using the, uh, the CFA francs here, which is the predominant currency in that area there. And so to give you an idea what's going on here, over the past weekend, there was a meeting amongst 15 states, as is mentioned and reported, it, that they've come to the conclusion on looking at 2020, uh, basically joining forces in regards to their monetary system and using the same currency called the ECO. So it says ECOWAS, the regional block of currency countries in West Africa, have just revived an old dream, adopting a single currency across member states. And so it talks about after first broaching idea at the turn of the millennial, the lar target date launch for the single currency has been postponed several times, but it's up and running now as of 2020. So it looks like this has been something that works for the last since basically 2003. And this has a lot, in my opinion, to do with the EU, the ECB and the euro, some type of mimic of that. And I'll explain that further in a second. But it says, as of now, for starters, only five Cape Verde, Ivory Coast, Guyana, Senegal and Togo. Other regions, 15 countries currently meet the single currency criteria of a budget deficit not higher than 4% and inflation rates of not more than 5%. And so here's, here's one of the stipulations. In order for all 15 states to qualify to be a part of this single currency, there are six uh, currency criteria of which, you know, two are mentioned here. And so I haven't seen a news source yet that has listed all six criteria and so I'm assuming it's out there, but I just haven't come across any. But yet it's once again, we have 15 different countries or states all with their own different and unique problems. It's very unlikely that they'll all be able to fall within those six criteria. So it talks about the ones that are able to do it here. But scroll down a little bit more. It says, given that various economies in the region are, quote, dramatically different levels of development, the leadership of the ECOWAS is being unrealistic in both its timing for the currency's launch and the expectations of what it might uh, achieve. And so just to share my thoughts on this. And so here's a uh, current inflation rates of some of the West African economies. And so you have Liberia with 27 percent, Nigeria with 11, Ghana with nine and so forth. But this whole idea of a single currency is one big experiment that. Sounds good in theory. And so I've actually saw a reporter from an African-American news source and she was you know, excited about it. And so my, my question would be, what can actually be accomplished with a, with a single currency that will be utilized amongst 15 different countries, all of them with their own unique problems, all of them with their own different styles of governance, as well as social and economic problems, as well as the, the entitlement pro programs they all have offered there's no way that they can have a clean and cut budget to be able to manage their own governmental issues. Nevertheless, their monetary system from a debt standpoint. So the idea of having a single currency will not work. And the best example of that is what's happening with the euro and the whole ECB and that whole union there, which has been put together as one great experiment, which, as we, we can see, is coming apart at the seams because they've now labeled. Uh, different countries within that uh, EU sector. Uh, then you have the, the pigs, Portugal, Ireland, Italy, uh, Greece, and Spain, all of which are a part of the, 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 the non-productive side of things, which are the most indebted and have the most issues. So those countries right there are, aren't carrying their fair share or their weight in the whole EU situation. So that's an experiment that's coming apart. And so here we have in the continent of Africa. And what's most interesting as it says right here, it says, it says, in trying to create a single currency, ECOWAS will be looking to squash one which already exists. And so it says eight of its member states already use the, Fran Fran use, use the France-backed West African CFA franc. So 
Eight of the countries out of the 15 currently use the West African CFA franc, which is basically a French currency. And I looked that up and it's backed by the French Treasury. And so backed by the French Treasury. What, what does that mean? If France is using a euro, how exactly do they use the euro for their own personal usage in the euro area? But then they have a backing to the CFA franc uh, down in West Africa. So that is colonialism in of itself still happening right now. The fact that France still has a heavy presence in its West African area. And do you think seriously that the French will let go of that monetary power they have in that region? Because clearly, as we all know, fiat currencies only rob and steal from the users. And so do you think the French will be willing to let this go if this program or this idea of a single currency wasn't backed by them and probably approved and suggested by them. And the only way the, the the eight countries that are currently using the CFA franc would be allowed to even talk like this, that it's something would be uh, you know feasible or doable if it wasn't already given and ordered by somebody in the Euro area, predominantly somewhere in France. So once again, this, in my opinion, is clearly a quote unquote Rothschild type of idea where the goal is, of course, to issue, be the primary issuer of the currency to where you can control the amount of it and where it goes so that uh, the people at the top receive all the benefits at the expense of those at the bottom that will use the currency. So just want to share my quick thoughts on why this is one of the things where it sounds good in theory and it sounds like it's freedom and liberty behind it and there will be choices and options. But once again, you have 15 different countries all attempting to come together under one currency that's going to be issued by a single source that is not even from the African region. They're from Europe, which lets me know that this is another central bank concoction that will only rob the West African nations dry beyond what they have already done. So and so just for those I had to look this up, but the the West African franc, the the biggest note is a 10,000 unit note. And as of this moment, a 10,000 unit note, which is the biggest denomination of the Swiss franc, is only worth less than $20 USD. So it's one of them things, even their highest denomination note uh, hasn't done them any good. But just want to share my quick thoughts on this whole one single currency in West Africa. It is a disaster waiting to happen. Unfortunately, there is, I heard, about 30 million people, a part of these 15 countries that will be, um, become victims of this single monetary currency that will basically continue to rob them dry and uh, it spells trouble. But uh, we will see. But leave a thought down below. We'd love to hear uh, your thoughts on this whole matter. And more importantly, if, if you have not been aware of the fact that the RT George Scary George coin is still available, I want to bring, it, bring that to your attention. Definitely get your weight up because for those that are in the know and you know if paper is not what it's supposed to be, then your best bet is make sure you hold something tangible and silver will definitely be of asset to you long term. But other than that, love to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. Thanks.